Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a large northern style swim jig. I know it sounds stupid, but it is. That's exactly what it is. It's a large northern style swim jig. In the vise, we have, we have a one half ounce casting jig with a 5 watt Victory 10886 hook. Uh, this seems a little stouter than the Mustad 32886. Uh, I haven't fished it, but I could tell you right now the point is ridiculously sharp. And it actually seems like a little bit heavier hook than the 32886. So far, uh, I am pleased with it. But we'll see how it performs out in the water. Anyway, we have that this color... It is called alewife. It's a like a pearlescent lavender. It, I wouldn't even call it purple because it's very light. Wicked color. The dots are just something I put on there with a, a quick coat lord marker. And the reason I like using that is because I can paint the head, put the dots on, and then actually bake it where you won't wash these dots off. It'll have to wear off with the paint. It'll bake right in, and you have it doesn't fade or anything. It's a really good deal. But anyway, we're going to get started with some white 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. As always, my mainstay. And we'll get our base started. I don't go real tight to the ring on this because I don't want a super lot of flare back here, but I do want some. Anyway... This is a real easy tie. All I did was, this is 10 strands of June Bug. June Bug Glitter Scale. Uh, I cut it in half. And we're going to use two tabs of this. This is Purple Glimmer Pepper. It has the black dot, the black flake in it. And it's got that, it's like a pearl with a purple tint to it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not with the light. I try to change different angles, but it's purple, trust me. So I got a little bit of a base there. I'm going to take five strands of this right off the bat, and I'll put that on. And this is that uh, June bug. I just want to make sure I get the length right, so... Uh, I don't have any issues when I trim it. Need a little bit more. That's pretty good. Usually don't have a problem with length like that, but with this, with these... Um, with this larger swim jig, I like to make sure that uh, the length is really important to me on this, I should say. That's a better way to put it. It's real important to have the, the length right. And it's be just for the simple reason, there is not a lot of overhang on the hook. It's pretty long. I make one, a heavy-duty one with a 6 aught hook. And it, you can't be off a little bit, otherwise your material will be short. So there's our five strands. And, of course, i got to put a couple extra wraps. And I'm applying a lot of pressure because I don't want it to slip. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One wrap, make sure my length is right. A little bit smaller, you know, four aught hook or a smaller swim jig, it's not a big deal because you have some you have some room. But when you're using um, larger hooks, you get a longer jig and the material is only five inches long. Like if you're tying something for muskies, you can buy the, the silicone material that's for that specifically. 
And again, all I'm doing is just trying to distribute the material to make it as even as possible. Not even even, just to, to get the coverage right. What happens is I pull down on one side sometimes and the other side is off and that's close enough. Now I just want to make, make sure I got enough wraps in there. Don't want to disturb all of it. And what I mean by that is when I adjust one side, I don't want the other side coming apart, which is kind of what happened. Now, that's the easy part. Well, that's the hardest part. This is the easy part. Take a full strand of this glimmer purple. All I do is line it up, make sure I'm there with the length. And what I want is I want this to go halfway around. You're going to get a little overlap and that's what you want because you want to make sure you got the coverage com uh, complete because on this one with its 50 strands you'll see if where where you get the material if you don't have it distributed properly you'll see it it becomes noticeable on this size jig and the same thing on this side Make sure my length is decent. You make it too long in the front, then your back is short, and then it's behind the hook. Make it too short, and your material doesn't come all the way back to the hook. And the funny thing is, I make a spinner bait like that, where the material stops short at a hook, but the back end is long. Uh, to try to make like a silicone trailer and actually it doesn't look bad and it works so I'm pretty good with my material distribution now it's just getting my collar all squared up and tightened up you want to add a pretty good bit of pressure when you're doing this throw these out of the way I should have got a clip Should have, would have. And as I'm doing this, like I said, I'm I'm really adding pressure to it. Making sure it's nice and tight. And it's pretty good. I'll just whip finish it. That looks better. We'll two, three, four, five, one strand, six. Cinch it. Put that back around again to get it out of my way. One more time. Two, three, four, five, and six. Trim it. And we'll do some head cement. And then we'll have to put a weed guard on here. Trailer wise, um, there's actually one, it's a knockoff of a Kitex swing impact fat. Uh, it's an Eco Pro swing bait, I think they call it, or a swing shad. Yeah, that's what it is, swing shad. And they make it in a color, I think it's called albino shad. It's got a little blue back on it. Uh, 
that works well with this uh, this particular pattern. So we're going to trim our silicone material. The back one, you want to make sure you get these cut just past the the point uh, where the silicone becomes separated. If you do too far away from that uh, that part, that fused section, again, you're, you'll end up short here. So we're going to now add our weed guard. One of the nice things about doing it this way is you don't have the weed guard in your way. Um, I've tied them that way, both with thread and with wire. Wire is much easier. Super glue gel. We'll put our weed guard in. And that is what we have. I call that the, the purple ghost shiner. I have purple ghost shiner, I have a green ghost shiner, and a blue one. Because I can get that material. I really like this. Like I said, it shows up in, you know, moderately stained water. But in clear water, it's really good. And the heavier duty deal, uh, you're fishing a little deeper, you're fishing a little faster. Um, you got a little bit heavier cover to, to deal with. This is the ticket. Still kind of finessey, but in a heavy-duty kind of way. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.